Hello everyone, welcome to Seagulls TV for another team selection video brought to you by Billy's Cakes. It's round 10 of the VFL season and this week our opponents are Box Hill who we face out at Burbank Oval on Sunday and joining us to take us all through it is Chris Dixon. Chris, thanks for joining us again. Um, the bye week last week, how did the players spend it? Always good to have the week off I guess, always good to go into the bye week with a win so I guess you're not sitting on a loss for a couple of weeks but Certainly some of the boys took the chance to get away and we gave them a fair bit of time, well not a fair bit, we gave them a few, a few extra days off. So I think he had, a, had one player go over and visit his girlfriend in Japan, which was a nice little break for him. Uh, a couple of the boys went in the States and I'm sure just a few of them enjoyed just a weekend off footy. So everyone uh, got back into it this week, had a great session on Monday and really looking forward to tackling probably the best team in the comp this week. Well, you mentioned that it's probably the biggest challenge the club's faced all year. You must be expecting a real thrilling battle out there with their Box Hill team that'll be full of Hawthorne listed players. Certainly, it's um, look, you know, when you're going to come up against Box Hill, no matter what the makeup of the team, it's, it's going to be a real challenge. They've got really good depth um, all the way through their own BFL list, but certainly the way Hawthorne have no injuries at the moment as well. We know we're going to be coming up against a side that's probably going to have in the range, sort of 18, 19, 20, even 21 Hawthorne listed players. So it's going to be a great challenge for us. Um, look, they've only lost the one game this year. It was a game where it was probably played in conditions that didn't really suit them. And they, I think they had more scoring shots against Werribee as well. So they're certainly the informed team in the competition. Um, and look, it's a huge game for us. We know that if we win, we're really able to I guess, stay on top of the ladder. If not, then we um, probably slip back and and what's a pretty competitive top eight at the moment. So it's going to be a huge challenge. Look, we know every time we come up against Box Hill, it's, it's, they've been great games of footy and really gone down to sort of the last quarter each time. So we're going to become really prepared to play and see, it's a really good chance just to test ourselves against what's probably the yard, yardstick at the moment. And before we get on to the team for this week, unfortunately we suffered a major injury during the Footscray game and unfortunately it was another knee injury to Jack Dorgan. Can you tell us a bit about where he's at at the moment? It was it's extremely disappointing and everyone's, um, it was certainly pretty flat when we got the news. It was a um, pretty innocuous incident and we just obviously, there was, a, I guess, a bit of hope that he hadn't actually done it in ACL again, but we obviously got the news, I think it was Tuesday night, that it was in fact a ruptured ACL and it was going to require, I guess, a third reconstruction. So it's with Jack, it's the knee he did originally with, with the Western Jets, so it wasn't the one he did last year, but that doesn't make it, I guess, any easier for Jack. So. Unfortunately, we'll be back, um, yeah, back in the rehab room for a while, so he will obviously miss the rest of this year. But look, speaking to him, and he's obviously d disappointed, but he's a pretty resilient kid, so he'll be doing everything he can to get back out there. So look, the boys have been great in getting around him, even the whole, I guess, wider Williamstown community has shown him a lot of support, which has been great. So it's really unfortunate for him. He's worked so hard to get back and been playing really good footy at senior level and showing a lot of the things that probably got himself on the draft radar last year. Um, but just one of those things that happened in footy. He's not, he's not the only one to have gone through something like this, so he'll be back and we'll look forward to seeing him back there at next year at some point. Absolutely. We wish Jack all the best in his rehab from the third knee injury. Uh, we'll move on to the team now and a couple of big ins to name with Willie Wheeler and Scott Bluston finally making their way back into the side. Yeah, so look, we're not sure exactly where they'll play yet, but it's great to have them um, available for selection. So we've got to make a call probably after tonight's session whether they do play at senior level or development level. but. Certainly it's going to be a great chance for them to come back in and look, they're two quality players, they're two players who have shown so much at this level and we've certainly missed, missed them in the last few weeks, so it's great for them to come back and obviously ahead of schedule as well for Scotty, so looking forward to seeing you both out there this week. And great to see Billy Myers play for the first time in the senior side this year as uh, 23rd man. Yeah, correct. I mean, he did play a game last year, so I don't know if this is his official debut as a Wing Town listed player now, but he's certainly one that's shown a lot of forward development level. Um, even the game he played last year was really um, it's a really strong performance. First up, as just a young kid coming from the Western Jets, so now I guess with the preseason under his belt, showing a really good flexibility at development level. We've sort of played him in a number of positions, half back. Um, on a wing, half forward, even on ball time. So he's a player that's pretty versatile. Look, he'll put his head over the ball and he's a pretty classy player when he gets it on the outside. So we're looking forward to seeing Billy in action. Now, it's not just the senior teams that have a huge clash this week. Obviously, the two development teams, Williamstown and Box Hill, have created quite a rivalry over the past few seasons. Both sides enter this week undefeated. Uh, it's a, the, probably the biggest test our development side faces this year. Certainly, it's, um, and it's going to be a really high-class game. I mean, we talked about the lack of Hawthorne injuries as well, and 
our overall list is pretty healthy as well. So it's going to be really a lot of talent running around there. Um, as you said, two teams who are both undefeated. I'm sure they're looking forward to coming up against us as much as we are against them. So obviously we've got Matt Adolf coaching the Box Hill development side, so he'll know a bit about some of our guys, but I'm sure he'll be keen to um, knock us off. So we're looking forward to, um, yeah, it really should be a great game of footy and really good, uh, good endorsement for what development football is at this level. Well, we certainly urge all Seagulls fans to get out there on Sunday at 11am to watch the development side and at 2pm, obviously, for their senior game. Uh, we've got our kids' activities happening around the ground, including our petting zoo, which community manager Craig Byron's got off the ground. He's pretty, so pretty excited about it too, for all the He's very excited about it, so make sure you get out and uh, support us in what is, as we mentioned earlier, the biggest game we've faced all year. So, Chris, thank you very much for joining us, and Cheers. best of luck out there on Sunday. Thank you.